guys! I am here with your art lesson for this week. This week's theme is A Bug's Life, so I am going to show you how to do a bug collage using a few um, or supplies that you probably have at your house. Um, you're going to need scissors, glue, glue stick would be best, but if you have white glue that's fine too. Um, something to draw with, so either the markers or the crayons that came home. Um, I'm going to use a black sheet of paper for my background. Um, if you don't have a black piece of paper, that's completely fine. You can use white paper or you can use a different color paper. It's up to you completely. And then you're going to need um, some magazines. So if you have old magazines laying around the house, please check first before you start tearing pages out of them. Make sure it's okay. Um, or newspaper. If you don't have anything like that, when we get to that step, I can t I will tell you something else that you can use instead. So don't worry if you don't have magazines. You can still absolutely do this project. Um, so gather up your supplies and then we will get started. So like I said, I'm going to use um, a piece of black paper for my um, background. If you don't have black paper, you can use white paper. Or if you have um, a different color paper at home, you can use that as well. It does not have to be black. You can use white or another piece of color paper. That's fine. And then what I did is went through a magazine and found pages that had um, designs or made it look like it had texture. So this looks soft. I thought that was very cool. This one has this um, pattern in the background. I found this one that's a whole bunch of screws, but if you just look at the pattern of it, that is um, pretty interesting, pretty cool. I got this one because I just liked the blue color, so if I want any parts just plain blue, I was going to use that. And don't forget about pages with letters with writing. That can be a very cool pattern and design. So don't forget about those pages. That's what I have here. Now, if you don't have magazines to use, grab white paper and something to draw with. Markers, crayons, color pencils, something like that. And all you need to do, you can like divide the paper in half because you don't need a full sheet. Um, so you can fold your paper like that and then draw a line down the middle. And you could make your own patterned paper. So on one side you could do different types of lines going in all different directions with all different colors. Um, something like that. And just fill up this side with different lines. That would be a pattern sheet. On this side maybe you do something like polka dots big ones and then little ones and really big ones and you can use all different colors to do to do that as well just fill up this side with lots of polka dots that would be a pattern piece of paper or you could just do I'll show you on the back you could just take a marker and do blocks of color all over it like this and fill up one whole side with with blocks of color that would be a pattern piece so if you don't have magazines you can do something like this or you can do a combination if you go through the magazines and you don't really find something that you like find the ones that you do like use those and then make some of your own the colors that you like so that's an option so what we are going to do, a collage is where you cut shapes and pictures out of um, paper or whatever material you're using and you hook it down to another one to make a picture out of. So we are doing a bug collage. So I'm going to show you different shapes to cut out of your papers and glue down to this piece to make it look like a bug. I know a lot of you are incredibly creative and draw very, very well. So if you... Um, don't want to follow along with the shapes that I do for a bug and you want to do your own, that is completely fine. You can do, um, on here you could do a butterfly, you could do a caterpillar, you could do a dragonfly, you can do any type of bug that you would like to. 
Um, I know if you have access to the internet, if you just go on Google, you can certainly find some easy to draw bugs out there and that could, could help you as well. I'm just gonna show you how to do like a basic bug shape and glue them all together. So first we're gonna do the body. So you wanna find the piece with the texture that you like for the body. I think I am going to do this screw one because it has the biggest chunk right here. Now you're going to want to use something, a color that you can see. I'm just going to use a pen to draw your shapes on here. Um, you can always trim them down later. So our um, body shape is just a oval. I'll show you on here because you won't be able to see it on my piece once we do it. So you're going to draw this oval shape on whatever piece you want your body to be. If you're really good, I know some of you can do this and you do it in the art room all the time and it amazes me, you don't have to draw your shape first. You can just grab scissors and the paper and cut it right out. I have to plan a little bit, so I have to cut mine out a little bit. Or draw mine first and then cut. So draw your oval shape. Cut that out with your scissors. And then you can set it off to the side. Now don't crumple these pieces up because if you like this project or if you want to do another collage project, you can reuse a lot of this. So you don't really want to throw that stuff out. So the next shape is going to be part of the head. I think I am going to do this pattern one for the head, part of it. So this part of the head is going to be this shape. So we're gonna do a straight line at the bottom, straight line at the top, and then to connect them, you do a curved line on each side. Okay, I'll say that again. Straight line across the bottom, straight line across the top, curve on each side. Now keep in mind, this is going on top of this, so you don't want this shape to be huge. Okay, so I'll say it as I draw mine too. Let me find a good section right here. So we wanna do a straight line at the bottom, straight line at the top, and curve on each side. Straight line at the bottom, straight line at the top, curve on the sides. You can always trim once we get gluing, because you might realize that one shape is too big or it needs to be trimmed down to hook where you want it to go. So that's fine. So you're gonna do that, set it off to the side. And like I said, don't throw out this paper, this can be used. Next shape is going to be for the top of the head. So it's going to be this kind of shape. Straight line at the bottom, rainbow arch going across the top. It needs to be smaller than the one that we just did because it's gonna be the top of the head. Straight line, rainbow shape. I'm going to use the text. I like that a lot. So it's going to be, I'm gonna do this part right here. Straight line at the bottom, curve or rainbow shape going up the top. Straight line, curve, and then cut this out. And like I said, you guys are incredibly creative, I'm sure. So if you want to come up with your own shapes for your own bug or insect, please, please, please do so. You do not have to stick to mine. Okay, the last part I'm gonna cut out is the wings, and you need two of them if you're doing it like me. Wings are the shape. Straight line, and then two lines that come down to a point. So straight line across the top, start at the end, come down, and then bring this one down to meet it. Now, since we're doing two, if you have a big enough piece, you can fold it in half, and then you just have to draw and cut once. Or you can draw one, trace it on the other, which is what I'm gonna do. So you do a, a line, let me do it in marker so you can see me a little bit better. 
Where'd my black marker go? There it is. So we're gonna do a line across the top. And then you're gonna start at that side, come down. And then I'm gonna come bring this one down to meet that one. Like that. A triangle would work as well, because it's kind of like a triangle except the sides are curved. Now since I need two, I'm gonna cut this one out, trace it on a different part of this page and cut it out. That way I have two that are the same size. So I'm gonna take this one that I cut out, find a spot where it fits, and then trace around that one. That way I have two wings that are the same size and shape. That way you don't have to try and do both. Okay, now once you have all your pieces, you can grab whatever color you are using for your background. Like I said, I'm using white. And we will start to glue. So you are going to glue the body first. The body was the oval. Glue that first. Now you wanna make sure that you leave some room for the head, because remember we are doing a head too. So I left room up here at the top. So next is this shape, the one that was the two straight lines and the curves on the side. That's next for the bug I'm doing. If you don't have a glue stick, white glue will work just fine, just so you know. You don't have to worry if you don't have glue stick. So that'll go on top. And then we'll do the head, which was the part with the straight line and then rainbow shape. We'll do that on top. And then our wings will be the next part. So I'm gonna do one wing this way. And you can play around with it. If you're not quite sure how you're gonna want it to go, then you can put it with your fingers first until you have a plan and then glue. I kind of liked mine right there. Okay, and then once your bug is built, you can use uh, markers or crayons to add details. Since I am using black paper, I am going to use white and yellow crayons because they will show up the best to add um, legs and antenna. You can also add details onto the bug itself with markers. So you can add some legs. Now you don't have to make your bug realistic either meaning you don't have to make it look like a bug that really exists. You can be creative and come up with your own bug if you want to. That's completely fine. If you do a spider, that is another insect that you could do. You could always add um, a web in the background if you wanted to. I'm just going to throw some details on here so you can see what I'm talking about. Things that you can add um, to yours. So I did the legs and then I added lines with my marker. I added eyeballs with my marker. You can add whatever details you want. You can put stuff in the background. Like I said, if you did a spider, you can add the web in the background. Um, if your bug is maybe sitting on a piece of grass, um, you could draw grass in the background or a flower. You can be as creative with this as you would, would like. That is up to you completely. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Um, collaging is something that you can do with all different types of materials and create all sorts of pictures. So I wanted to share that with you because it's something that you could um, do another time if you wanted to. So I hope you had fun. I will see you next week.